Hola, hola, welcome to my channel. My name is Ilse and today I'm going to be talking about the best of 2022 makeup edition. I want to start by mentioning that the products that I chose, not they are not particularly new products, but products that I started to use this past year and also that my makeup preference is very minimal, very glowy and if that's what you like, please keep on watching. For primers, I don't particularly use a primer. I prefer to start with a hydrated skin and for that I focus more on my skincare but when I do I definitely use the Chanel Cheer Healthy Glow and I just love this product this is more of a highlighter but I prefer to use it before my foundation just to give it a nice bronze look to my skin and I know it is pricey but for me I just love to use it that way for the days that my skin is more oily and I know that I need something to control that oiliness, I love using the Milk Makeup Poreless Primer. This makes my T-zone stay without oil, looks very smooth, and it just makes my makeup look more flawless. I do want to give an honorable mention to the um, Dewey Super Gel in a Star Glow from Say Beauty. If you are looking for something similar to the Chanel but you don't want to spend that much money and you don't want a bronze look, this is amazing on their makeup. It just makes your skin look more healthy and it's just amazing. I think the year 2022 was the year that brands understood that not all of us like the very heavy makeup look and they went into the skin like direction and I love that but for years well it's actually since it launched the Chanel water fresh thin has been my favorite as a skin tint and also on their makeup it looks just absolutely flawless this gives a little bit of coverage but it just makes your skin look very healthy it evens out my skin tone and it just lasts a really good amount of time the formulation is just very unique no one can dupe this and it's just a product that i just love having in my collection i know it is pricey but i'm on my second bottle and i just love it i use a uh, probably one pump for the whole my, my whole face and it's just enough i do want to give an honorable mention to the summer fridays skin tint they launched their first makeup product and it was a skin tint and I think it was just the perfect product to jump into makeup and I love that they their change range is very small but the product is so sheer that I feel like you can use different shades and it just makes your skin look like skin with just a little bit of coverage and all the skin types can use it. For foundations, I think the one that surprised me the most is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is the perfect combination between a skincare and makeup just because it has very skin loving ingredients but also it has that light to medium coverage with a healthy glowy radiant finish. This is the foundation that I can definitely use every day. I don't use foundation that much, but this will be a product that I will use every single day. Just excellent foundation. But the one that truly won my heart is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Foundation. If you like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Foundation, I think it's very similar but better. Let me explain. This one, it gives a more medium coverage. It still gives you a little bit of that radiance finish that I like. Not as glowy as the NARS, but I just feel like this, this looks amazing on everyone. Any skin types can use this foundation and it looks flawless. It lasts all day long and I don't, I don't know. It's something about this foundation that it just makes me feel like my skin looks absolutely amazing. I am super impressed with this foundation and I cannot recommend it enough. My everyday concealer, I have to choose the Kofi Main Match Concealer in color Coca Crush. I haven't been able to put this down, this concealer, since I got it. It is very lightweight. It has a medium 
coverage like light to medium coverage but it just looks like skin is very hydrating and it just blends out so beautiful i just i i love this concealer i haven't i've been using it a lot and that says a lot for a more medium to full coverage i have to go with the milk makeup future fluid concealer this is a concealer that i use when First, when my, my skin is reacting, when I have acne, or if I want to cover more imperfections, I can also use this as my foundation because the texture is not as lightweight as the Colfi. It is a little bit creamier, but it blends out very, very nice in the skin. It still makes my skin look very nice and healthy, but it's still with more coverage. I think a lot of people with drier skin might not like this but as a combo skin i just i love it i have a very dry under eye area but i just make sure that my eye area is well hydrated before using this and it stays on all day and this is what i use when i want my makeup to stay on all day like a special occasions or you know it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. I do want to do an honorable mention to the Dior Backstage Concealer. I was super excited when I got this because I love their foundation and it just seemed like this was going to be the product. At the beginning, I wasn't so into it just because my fine lines were more prominent and I just felt like it creased sooner than I was expecting. But after I did fillers, this product just won my heart this is more matte finish but it's just it looks really really nice under the eye area and you can use it everywhere and i know that this will last a really long time for bronzers i love bronzers i love that sun kissed look and i was able to choose three the first one is the rare beauty bronzer stick in shade happy soul this became very popular and you couldn't find it anywhere i think still sometimes you cannot find it and for a reason this is very beginning friendly or whenever you're on the go the packaging is incredible because you can just have it in your makeup bag and just swipe it in your face blend it with your fingers and it is just such a beautiful warm color without being orange or you know yellowish it's, i think it's just the perfect color one that i have been using since i got it is the charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin glowy cream bronzer this is in shade two and not just the beautiful packaging but also the size i know this is gonna last me forever is so big it comes with a big mirror so i can just use this whenever i'm doing my makeup the color is perfection the formula is very creamy and buttery it's easy to work uh, it's not as easy as the rare beauty per se but it's still very very easy to use the formula i really like it because it kind of goes from creamy to powder and it's just beautiful beautiful product for powder bronzers, I have to go with the Make Beauty. They have been killing it with their makeup and especially their powder formulas. Their powder formulas are very buttery, but they go so seamlessly in the skin. I don't know, it's something about their powder formula that I just love. And their bronzer, I think I use the shade Aura. And I think it's just a good shade for me. They have a variety of shades, which I really, really like. And I just love the brand, love the brand. And we are down to my favorite category, which is blush. I was able to choose four and it was so hard because blushes, they are my obsession. I feel like if I have more than two or three of the same one is because they are just so good. For cream blushes, I chose the Victoria Beckham Cheeky Blushes. I really like the formula. It, it's creamy but not very creamy it's just easy to apply easy to blend the colors are very very nice i i think my favorite is major which is a pinky shade <laughs> i love pink blushes and there is something about them um very luxurious 
they stay on all day and their formula is more like creamy to powder but it still has some luminosity in it so i just really really enjoy their blushes for liquid blushes i definitely have to go with the say beauty dew blush there is something about this product i love the big food applicator i love the finish it's very dewy but what surprised me the most is that they stay on all day usually you know with that kind of formula they kind of disappear by the end of the day with these blushes i don't have the problem if you had a hard time working with the rare beauty blushes because they are super pigmented i definitely recommend you trying these blushes for powder blushes i have to go with the gucci matte luminous blush i haven't been able to stop using it since i got it i know it is pricey but i just love how luminous looks it's a matte formula but it still has kind of like you know that radiance it's just absolutely stunning the packaging love it and the color rosy beige is just a beautiful muted pink mauve color i just love it love it and the blushes that i use the most patrick tab i love that they come with two kind of formulas they have a cream and a powder formula which you know i was i was very hesitant to try both formulas at once but i think it's just a signature of him the colors are just stunning you get two products for the price of one and they are super pigmented but still easy to use love them for highlighters i definitely have to go with the merit i absolutely adore this formula it's more of like a wet dewy finish so i know a lot of people are not gonna be excited about that i just absolutely adore how it looks on my skin it just makes my skin look healthier with a glow and the colors are very pretty i have all three of them i think my favorite are between kava and bounce they're just beautiful i just I love them. For part of highlighter, I definitely have to go with the Fight the Surgeon Spectral Shine. I really, really love this product. I have, I think, two other ones, but I think my favorite is the Divine Daylight. The formula is very interesting because whenever you put it on the skin, you feel like you are not wearing anything, but once the light hits, it just makes your skin look juicy, glowy, absolutely radiant i just love 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 this formula i love the founders i love the company and the price is just right for setting powders i definitely have to choose the say beauty translucent powder air set i have been using this non-stop i love the luminosity that lives on my skin it sets my makeup in place especially the under eye area it makes my concealer not crease as sooner <laughs> because you know all concealers crease it, see if you have fine lines your concealers will crease but i think this makes my concealer last longer this is not a mattifying product so i don't think this will control any oiliness it's just gonna make my makeup look more flawless and put together for finishing powders i definitely have to go with the iconic charlotte tilbury flawless setting powder this is a press formula so it's very different than a translucent formula this will make your makeup look put together very natural it will blur imperfections harsh lines it will just make your makeup look top line it's just such an amazing product you do have to be careful because this one has a little bit of color so it might change your foundation color so you just have to be very light whenever you are applying it and i got a mini and i definitely need a bigger size now we're down to eyeshadows i'm not a big eyeshadow person i don't do very crazy looks i just like something that is very simple and quick and for that i think the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize 
cream eyeshadow has been my number one. I have been using this nonstop since I got it. The love the finish. It has a dewy, glowy finish, and the color might disappear by the end of the day, but the shimmers are gonna stay there. And it just looks very natural. I'm wearing it today. I love the application. It's very easy. I'll just use my finger, apply it on the lid, and I am good to go. I absolutely love this formula. For a more everyday eyeshadow, I definitely have to go with the Wild Oak from Fight the Surgeons. This is a cream eyeshadow that I know is going to last me all day long. I love the formula. It's very easy to use as well. And this color is just so good for every day if i want more impact on my eyes i definitely go with fractal freesia from fight the surgeons the shimmers is just they're just beautiful and they will not move they stay on all day the color is absolutely perfection and i just love their products for eyeshadow palettes i don't know if this counts but the kaja bento trio I have been using them non-stop. I have all the colors, but the ones that I reach the most is Chocolate Dahlia. I think it's just a perfect neutral color that you can just use the topper to make it look more dramatic. And I can use the darker shade to do a wing. That's what I did today. And I love that it comes in a very small packaging. You can use it for travel. And the pigment is great. And the one that it truly shocked me because I'm not a big fan of eyeshadows. But as soon as I saw the color story, I had to get it. And it's the Makeup by Mario Ethereal eyeshadow palette. I have been using it nonstop. The formula is beautiful. The color story is stunning. And this won my heart. I got it at the end of the year. I think I've been using it for about two, three months. I got it the day that it launched and I have been able to put it down. It's just such a beautiful palette. For mascaras, I have to go with the Tower 28 Make Weights Mascara. I have been using this almost every single day. It's my everyday mascara. It gives volume, it gives definition. The curl stays on, it gives length. I just it's such a lovely formula. I love that I don't get raccoon eyes from this and I can put one coat, two coats, three coats and it looks absolutely beautiful. They did such a great job with this mascara and so affordable as well. Cannot recommend it enough. If I want a more dramatic look and if I want to give my lashes that volume and curl I have to choose the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. I've been using this probably for two years now or since they launched probably. I don't even remember when they launched but this is my mascara that I use when I want my makeup to look stunning. And yeah, love it. We made it to lips and I chose a lot. 2022 was the year that I started to use lip liners and I understood the significance of using a lip liner and definitely the one that won my heart were the Makeup Forever Artist Pencils. My favorite shade is Whatever Walnut. Love it, love it. They stay on all day and the formula is creamy but not as creamy where it will be you know smudging all over your lips it's just such a beautiful product it can also be used on the cheeks on the eyes the lips absolutely amazing for lipsticks i have to go with merit merit, merit signature lip such a beautiful formula it's a sheer formula your lips look juicy the colors are absolutely beautiful i think my most used one was Cabo, which is a orangey red which I use all the time but also I also have Millennium Slip and Tiger and I just love them all absolutely beautiful the packaging is luxurious and I just love Merit my most used everyday lip has to be the Rose Ink lipstick and Enigmatic 
I have been using it nonstop. I'm about to finish it. And I recently got Grateful, which is more of a brownie shade. Absolutely perfect. I love the satin formula. I love the neutral colors. The packaging, it's not my favorite. I think they look kind of cheap, but they feel kind of cheap. But the formula is just absolutely stunning and I love them. For a matte lipstick, I have to go with my Gucci. This is the shade they made in Argentina. I have used it nonstop since I got it. I think I got it probably in 2021, I'm guessing. But I have used this. I think it's what I'm wearing today. This is what I use when I wanna feel good with myself. The packaging is just absolutely beautiful. Love the formula. I love how it feels on my lips. It's very hydrating, it's very creamy, but it doesn't budge. I just absolutely adore this formula. For lip gloss, I definitely have to go with the Maybelline Lifter Lip Gloss. I love them. I love the smell. I love the chunky applicator. I love the colors. I, I love the texture, you know. You feel like you have something in your lips, but it's not very sticky. I just absolutely adore them, and you can find them at the drugstore. This serum ball from Make Beauty truly impressed me. This is what I use under my lipsticks just to make sure that my lips are nourished and hydrated. And they came with an intense formula which has more pigment, but it's just such a lovely formula. My favorite has to be Nova Nude. I just put it on and I just feel like my lips are instantly better. Absolutely adore make and they did a really good job with their new formula. For a true lip balm, I have to go with the Summer Fridays. This formula is absolutely stunning. The color, I have vanilla beige and this is a more, a more neutral tone but it just makes my lips look juicy very hydrating very nourishing and i just love this i really like that they improved their packaging i used to hate the old packaging they listen to their customers and they change the packaging and they just made a stunning stunning product if you made it to the end thank you so much for listening i absolutely love the products that I mentioned today and I cannot recommend them enough. If you enjoy my content and you would like to hear more about skincare, makeup, hair, beauty in general, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you next. Bye-bye.